Hello friends. Now we have come on main part of this chat application, and in this part we will learn how one user can send chat message to other user in this chat application. In previous part, we have seen how to load chat user in this chat application. Now for chat with other user, in this chat application, login user has click on any user from user list, and he or she chat with other user. For this, we have go to chatview.php file, and in this file, we have go to chat header division tag, and here we have create one span tag with id is equal to dynamic title. This tag text will change when we have click on any user from this list of user. Below this we have create one division tag with id is equal to chat body. Under this tag we will load previous chat messages. After this, we have create one more division tag with id is equal to chat footer. Under this tag we will make chat box and send chat button. Under this tag, we have create one more division tag with id is equal to chat message area. Here we have add content editable attribute for convert division tag to editable division tag. So user can type chat message under this tag. For send chat message, here we have write button type is equal to button, name is equal to send chat, id is equal to send chat, here we have add disabled property, so this button will be disabled, when we have click on any user from list, then this button will be enable. Now we have go to jQuery code part, and here we have defined one receiver ID variable. Next we have write dollar document select with on method, and under this we have write click event with anchor tag class user chat list. So when login will click on any user from user list, then this block of code will execute. Under this, we have write dollar with send button id send chat with attribute method and here we have set disabled property with false value, so it will enable send chat button. Next we have write receiver id variable is equal to dollar this with data method and under this we have write receiver id it will fetch value from data receiver id attribute and store under this variable now we have write receiver name is equal to dollar this dot text method it will fetch anchor tag text and store under this variable. For change chat area title, here we have write dollar with span tag id dynamic title with html method. And under this, we have write u chat with value of receiver name variable. It will display this dynamic title. Friends. Here we have login as John Martin in this chat application. First we have refresh web page. And after here we can see user list. And below this, we can see chat box with disable send chat button. Here in user list, we can see Adonis Martin user, who has accept chat request. So now we have click on user name. And after click on user name, here we can see send chat button has been converted into enable button. So now user can type message in chat box, and by click on send chat button, he or she can send message. For this, we have go to chatview.php file, 
And here we have write dollar document selector with on method and under this we have right click event with button ID send chat. So when we have click on send chat button, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write chat message variable is equal to dollar dot trim function. And under this we have write dollar with division tag ID chat message area with HTML method. It will fetch content of this editable division tag and store under this chat message variable. Next, we have write if statement and under condition, we have write chat message variable value is not equal to blank. If above condition falls, then it will execute else block of code. And here we have write alert statement with message like type something in chat box. This message will pop up in browser. But suppose above condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And here we have start write ajax request. And in first option, we have write URL option, and here we have write base URL function, with chat slash send chat, so it will send request to send chat method of chat controller. In second option, we have write method, and here we have use post method, for send form data to server. In third option, we have write data, and here we define which data we want send to server. So here we have defined receiver ID variable value, chat message variable value, has been sent as data. In fourth option, we have write, before send callback function, this function has been called before Ajax request has been sent. Under this function, we have write button ID send chat with attribute method, and under this, we have write disabled, it will disable send chat button. Lastly in Ajax request, we have write success callback function, this function has been called, if request completed successfully. Under this function, First we want to enable send chat button, for this here we have write dollar with button id send chat, with attribute method, and under this we have set disabled property with false value. So, it will enable send chat button. For remove chat message from chat box. Here we have write dollar with division tag id chat message area with html method with blank. It will remove content from this tag. Next, we have write html variable is equal to division tag with class attribute is equal to medium column 10 alert and alert warning class. After this, we have write, we have write HTML variable, and in this variable, we append value of chat message variable. Lastly, we have write dollar with division tag ID chat body with append method, and under this we have write HTML variable, it will display this chat message, in chat history area. Now we have go to chat controller, and here we have make send chat method. This method will receive Ajax request for insert send message in database. Under this method, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post receiver ID variable, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code.
Under this block, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write send ID, and in value we have write session user ID variable. In second key, we have write receiver ID, and in value we have write dollar post receiver ID variable. In third key, we have write chat messages text table column name, and in value we have write dollar post chat message variable. In fourth key, we have write chat messages status table column name, and in value we have write no. In fifth key, we have write chat messages date time table column name, and in value we have write php date function, with date format. So here we have store data in this array variable. Next, we have write dollar this, with chat model object, with insert chat message method, with dollar data variable as argument. This method will insert chat data in chat messages table. Now we have go to chat model class, and here we have make insert chat message method, with dollar data variable as argument. Under this method, we have write dollar this with database class object, with insert method, and under this method we have write chat messages table name, and dollar data variable, it will insert data into chat messages table. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends here first we have refresh web page, and here we can see chat box for type chat message, and disable send button. Now we have click on Adonis Martin username, after click on Adonis Martin username, here we can see send button now clickable. First we have directly click on send button. After click on send button, here we can see pop up dialog box, with message like type something in chat box. So in chat box, we have type hi Adonis, and after this we have click on send button. After click on send button, chat box message has been removed, and message has been appear in chat history area. So, in this part, we have learned how to send chat message from one user to another user in this chat application. In next part, we will discuss how to load chat messages.